In 2019, AEW hits a massive frog splash on TV, with it garnering a decent amount of the market share in the wrestling industry. The year after, WWE releases what is widely considered the worst wrestling game in recent memory, thus sparking a electrifying realm of sports entertainment. A iconic developer in wrestling games, along with an iconic director, bring to life a new answer to WWE's failure. And here, on this stage, battles will be waged and legends will be made. But can this newcomer make an impact on a genre dominated by the only show in town? Can this game do to the wrestling video game genre what the show has done to the industry? Stay put, the results might affect your wallet. AEW Fight Forever has a lot of things going for it. New brand, new IP, with some familiar faces not only on the roster side of things, but also behind the scenes as well. Since it's Ukes, the developer, makers of the legendary Here Comes the Pain and SmackDown vs. Raw series, along with the director of WWE No Mercy and Def Jam Vendetta, this combination is a match made in heaven. So you add those components along with the hype and the excitement of this new brand with icons of the industry on your roster already so we have sting chris jericho the hardy boys cm punk and then you have this gargantuan up which is wwe 2k20 so everyone and their mother is looking forward to this game and it's like they fought a good match and missed the finisher. Taking a look at gameplay, it's actually solid. We have simple arcadey gameplay with a good amount of modes and good amount of matches that start from exhibitions, which range from one fall to the crazy exploding barbed wire death match to the random casino battle royale matches. You, in that, you also have online, which also shares those same game modes. And then you have a road to elite mode, which is essentially the story. And it's nothing too crazy. It just provides a bit of an entertainment and replayability to make it viable, but it lacks in a lot of areas. And for a little extra motivation, we also have challenges like dailies, weeklies, and a bit of variety like a mobile game would. But on a different note, we have some cool additions like mini games. We also have a customization mode, which is something of an essential at this point in any wrestling game. But it actually has a bit of variety to them. And you could actually create someone to your liking with tons of signatures and finishers, thus creating a solid foundation for a wrestling game. So the gameplay ain't the issue. So what is? Things start to fall apart when we get to the graphics, which are mid. The presentation is totally lopsided. It does not impress at all. Do the wrestlers look like their real life counterparts? Sort of? <laughs> when they act in the story mode, they look absolutely awkward. It's like they're, the top of their face isn't moving or their body isn't moving enough, but their jaw is going crazy. Pause, but yeah. <laughs> it looks absolutely nuts. Pun intended. <laughs> These are PlayStation 2 animations at best everything in this game at the same time is lacking impact as well for example during gameplay during a match you will notice that the ring barely moves like you are jumping from the top rope this is a 230 pound person doing a swanton bomb landing on this created this makeshift ring and nothing is moving it's just like okay and then the recoil off their bodies like the reaction to the actual move itself i'm gonna give you guys a side by side here is a swanton bomb from wwe 2k22 and here's a swanton from AEW. you're selling in wrestling right you're selling actually like getting hit in this game, it doesn't look like they're selling anything at all. <laughs> Essentially looking like the game is poorly acted in a game that should be selling it like the real thing. That's essentially what's going on here. There's also a huge lack of impact in showmanship. This should be a spectacle. We should be in all of the presentation, but it looks really bland. Even the venues are kind of boring to look at as well. And then we get to the audio which is low the only redeeming quality of the audio is the simple fact that the soundtrack is actually pretty good i enjoy the soundtrack 
But other than that, I can't even play it for you guys because it's going to get copyrighted. But other than that, there's nothing. There's very little voice work here. Almost none whatsoever. Zero color commentary. Like, who told you guys that during matches, during these intense sequences, during these amazing spectacles, this showmanship, we wanted these silent mass matches where we could only hear the moves going off? With already the lack of impact and the lack of, of special effects going off, like it just doesn't work. So here's an F5 from AEW. And another F5 from WWE 2K22. And you can just tell it is bland, boring audio work lack of presentation lack of impact it just leaves a lot to be desired then to see that you guys supplement this already bad performance with odd design choices like no competent tutorial mode they literally show you guys how to play the game inside of a live match they couldn't be bothered enough to put a actual tutorial mode in the game you also have the inability to modify the current roster's moves for offline play. Let me put moves on some of my favorite wrestlers. Like, I don't understand how hard that would be. We can't see the ratings of the wrestlers unless we do a Road to Elite campaign with them. Like, come on, guys. Give me a break and check this out. That is three signatures in a row, and there's nothing stopping you from doing that. This needs to get patched as soon as possible. Because li literally, I can already see this online getting abused and somebody trolling just by hitting you with six pedigrees or 20 suplexes in a row since it's a signature and there's nothing stopping you. There you go. That must be loads of fun. Which brings me to the final crime the price and the dlc this is a 60 dollars game guys 60 dollars with wrestlers blocked by dlc why y'all don't have the type of roster to pull from like your competition does with all those legends and hall of famers do you already have a small roster and you're locking them but you're paywalling them no yo like no way why would you nerf your own roster like that it is insane to me. AEW Fight Forever fails to do what the live product has done. This is a $30 game at most, pretending to be a $60 experience. So, the wait for a worthy competitor continues. Is it fun? Sorta. Is it worth it? Nope, it's a wait for a sale. Is it for you? No. This is not for anyone other than AEW super fans that want to support it. Everyone else can rightfully so skip it. You have plenty of other wrestling games that do a much better job. It's not even better than Here Comes the Pain. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out the socials down below and also check out the YouTube membership and Patreon down in the description below. One dollar away keeps the landlord away. I'm your host, Mike Fury. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a complete pleasure. Until next time, Mike.